Alan Thicker's widow scores early court victory in dispute with Steps on September 14, 2017 910 p.m. Est Alan Thicker's widow has scored a small victory in her legal battle with Steps on's Robin and Brennan over the late Actisange's estate. Singer Robin Thick and his brother Brennan went to war with their stepmother Tanya Kalau in May, seeking to ban her from challenging the terms of the prenuptial agreement she signed with Alan four days before the wedding in 2005. The siblings claimed the actress Modal, a.k.a. Tanya Thick, had threatened to go public with family secrets if she didn't receive a bigger cut of the growing pains star's estate, but she denied the allegations, making it clear she has no intention of challenging the prenup and only wants what is rightfully hers. Allen's will entitled her to 25% of his personal effects, a $500,000 life insurance policy, and permission to live at his Carpentaria, California ranch as long as she agreed to maintain the property. The judge overseeing the family dispute has since sided with Tanya, dismissing the Thick brother's petition, ruling there is no evidence to suggest the stepmother is planning to sue over Allen's will. However, according to TMZ.com, Robin and Brennan have been given the option of filing a new claim against Tanya, as long as they provide more specifics to back up their argument. At the time of the Thick siblings' initial court filing, Tanya's attorney Adam Streisand insisted she was being unfairly targeted in a phony legal bid. Tanya Thick has never threatened to take private family matters public and she never has, he told the New York Post's page 6 in May. It is clear that Alan's sons have chosen this distasteful public smear tactic to bully Tanya by stirring up the tabloid media, filing a bogus lawsuit, and refusing family mediation. Tanya is still grieving the death of her beloved husband and out of respect for Alan's memory intends to handle his son's false statements privately. TV icon Alan died in December, aged 69, after suffering a heart attack while playing ice hockey with his adult son Carter.